Hello Aries. It looks like this new connection is going to give you a new perspective on some old beliefs. Let's dig in to see where this goes. tarot reading it's a general reading usually between two energies let's dig in to see what sort of thing we have for you today celebrate the sacred gap number 47 reduced to 11 Ooh, it goes with my nails uh give thanks for buffer time 11 is a number of mastery here too and flip it upside down. Number 27 reduced to a nine. Question your beliefs. Man, my nails really does go with that. Wow. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> um, so there's actually an epiphany on the horizon here. And it, sound, and it feels like it's just in time before a connection comes in. So you'll see connection in a new way. Interesting. Okay. Show me what's going on with Aries, please. Show me what's going on with Aries. Show me what's going on with Aries, please. Okay. I have a pentacles underneath. Four of Wands, Eight of Cups, Hermit, Card of Virgo, World, Fixed Energy, Nine of Pentacles, Judgment, Knight of Cups. Okay, Four of Wands, Five of Pentacles. If, because this, this happened uh, like a couple of weeks ago. Someone may be expected to move for a new connection and is resistant to that. Um, there's something here, and it, let's use the moving as an example because it's four of wands, five of pentacles. Change in your physical world. Um, you're viewing what's being built in a different way. So something that would require a significant move on your part doesn't seem like a big deal anymore because of what you're taking the risk for. There's the fear of, oh, but what if things change and I've moved in with this person and what do I do? Blah, 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 blah. It's like, oh, that's gone. Oh, that's gone. There's love here. There's, of course, there's, <laughs> there's the anxiety of holding on to a little bit of that, like, ah, but it's love. It's love. And there's something here where you lean, you learn to lean into the victory that this is. So whatever immediate trigger that you have, like, I'm not going to move for anyone ever. We're going to flip that. Okay. It's not going to seem like the big deal that you've been making it into for however long you've been holding on to it. Okay. I'm reading this side is you. This side is them. This is the situation. Four of Wands, significant soul bond. Significant soul bond. Um, the Virgo energy, really grounded. Really and ready for love. And ready for love. You're completing something big that's gonna put you on the path to something really exciting. Like you've wherever you're at, you've accomplished all of the things. Let's get into the situation. Because that means there's gonna be a gap before this takes place. Show me the four of wands, please. Page of Cups. Star card of Aquarius, Queen of Swords, Hierophant card of Taurus, Five of Wands, Lovers card of Gemini, Five of Cups. Hmm. A lot of change because there's Five of Pentacles underneath, Five of Wands, Five of Cups. Which one are we missing? Five of Swords. Okay, Five of Swords. Good to note. Very good to note. So we have a faded connection here, destined to meet. 
okay? Whether the both of you choose it or not is between the two of you, right? Um, because what our, what we choose to do with our individual wills is based on the individual, okay? Um, there's something about this, like, it's a Four of Wands, because Four of Wands is also a Twin Flame card, and I'm not saying that that's what this is, but the it has the capacity to where it makes people hold a mirror up to each other, right? Reflect back to each other. There's something here it's communicating as a, as stability, grounded, okay? So you're going to know early on that this is a grounded thing, that it's okay to give yourself permission to go towards this, no matter how much it changes life. And you're aware of the changes it may bring. Show me the Eight of Cups, please. Show me the Eight of Cups, please. Six of Swords, Three of Wands. Mm. You're like, you're ready for something to come in. You're not waiting for it, but you're ready. And it's a smooth transition to, okay, what's what has arrived? Let me take a look. Show me the world. Magician, four swords. There's the five of swords. Five of swords is no contest, competition. You're going to win. You've got Libra, Taurus, Taurus, and Libra. Hmm. <laughs> Divine counterpart. Look in the market for a long-term divine counterpart. Manifesting. It's coming off as manifesting a healthy thing. Which can sound boring. But if you're someone that's done a lot of healing work, you want that. <laughs> Show me judgment, please. Show me judgment, please. Page of Wands. Strength. Leo energy. Six of Pentacles. Uh-huh. Oh. So if you healed from a third party wound in the past, okay, um, someone's going to come out not necessarily of nowhere. Not necessarily of nowhere. Because it, it feels like you are making the choice to get into the world, out into the world. Um, if you ever had to heal from a third party wound in the past. Okay, um, you could be kind of like out to look for signs of that immediately, which I don't see a problem with that. Um, and it's really going to surprise you that it's just, it's just love and happiness for you, not you, them, and someone else. <laughs> it's just you. Which is lovely. Let's see what's going on with them. Let's start with the hermit, please. Hermit again. So you come off as the Queen of Swords to them too, because you're up here as the Queen of Swords. Queen of Swords Hierophant. You're, they they do see you as guarded. They're curious as to why. Show me what the Ace of Pentacles offer is. They're curious as to discover why. Four of Wands again. King of Swords. Page of Wands. Okay, so they understand that you're taking this seriously, like the whole objective of date of finding someone. Um they're they're coming forward stepping on the right foot here they're already a match to you and coming in with that stable energy but they're going to try to lighten it up though getting flirtatious vibes you don't see yet that this is a divine masculine counterpart you're trying to see it you don't fully see it yet it's something that will come into view I hear, okay, he, yeah, he's going to really like dating you. Well, I mean, I hope he would, but you know what I mean? But that's coming up. He's going to really like dating you. Show me the nine of pentacles, please. Star again. Six of pentacles, wheel of fortune. He's very generous. 
Very, very generous. So while he is having fun with you, you guys are dating, he's being generous, you know, you guys are having a good time. The one thing that he is actually guarding is his truth that he would like to make the choice of this becoming a thing, just the two of you. But perhaps he's weighing and measuring that it's too soon. Um, a little bit more there on the nights. Yeah, he knows you're his empress. He wants to make it happen as soon as possible. Doesn't want to lose a soulmate. But it's taking his time. So you must be signaling needing the time. Or have expressed that you need the time to take things slow. Because otherwise he would he would lock this down quickly. He didn't want to spook you. He doesn't want to spook you. Show me the Knight of Caps, please. <laughs> ah, what's that song that um by Elvis? <laughs> I can't help falling in love with you. He he tries to slow it down, in his own heart. <laughs> it doesn't work though. <laughs> it doesn't work at all. Um, his his knight of cups takes off, no matter how much he tries to slow it down. Okay, four of wands again. Judgment lovers, significant soul bond here. He he can't help it. He's fallen in love. How cute. <laughs> how cute. So you're getting back out there. All right, sacred gap is coming because you're finishing up with something. Something new is coming in. You're keeping your eye out for it, okay? And that there's something here about getting into personal relationship with someone that you need to flip upside down through the lens that you usually see it. And gave the example of moving. If you never wanted to move, once you get into this, you don't see it as a big deal anymore. Just an example, okay? Alrighty, this guy's adorable. So um, I'm going to go over to the extended and look into him some more. I'm going to see what's going on with him and his current energy, his near future, and the final outcome of the connection between you in this lifetime. So if you're interested in any of that information, along with messages from Spirit about the connection at this point in time, messages between you, what am I doing? <laughs> what am I doing? As well as timing, feel free to follow me by clicking the link in the description box below. That's better. And I'll see you guys over there. Bye.